Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Fiend Folio. We are jumping in again. Let's randomize our character and see who we might get on this uh, joyous of days. We get Tainted Andromeda to Mother. Oh Lord. Oh God. Okay, let's just do it. Let's just see how it goes. Um, we've not been really getting a win streak going recently. It's been a little upsetting, but we'll try our best. I I'm not sure this might be my first Tainted Andromeda Fiend Folio run. I can't remember. But as for the question of the day, if you could design any game yourself, what would it be? It'd be really interesting to know. Okay, these guys do not do what I thought they'd do, which is really nice. Uh, yeah, if you could design any game um, for yourself. Oh, do you know me? Just completely forgetting how this character works for a hot minute there. Um, for me, I've... I, it's kind of changed a lot. Obviously, um, I'd like more roguelike elements to it, but... There's, there's been like two sort of central ideas that I've always had. One of them is uh, uh, not not as much of a roguelike, but um, more of a one that would be kind of based around the uh, Call of Duty Zombies idea. Um, let's uh, crack up and open all of these. See what we might get. Yeah, sort of based around the Call of Duty Zombies idea. I'd, I'd really like some sort of um, zombies game where it's got like a hub world and everything. Um, and it's got like qu like proper quests to do and like different sort of open world areas of the map and stuff like that. I'm sure there's similar games like that, but like I had like, I remember when I was younger specifically, I drew up like a very specific vision for this. This is kind of the first idea. The second idea I've had, it's kind of become a slight reality in a few, in a few games here. Oh, don't do this to me. Copper bombs. Um... It's kind of become a slight reality in a few ways. Oh, we got the giant pots, baby! No way! Okay, they spawn blue spiders, which is really nice. There's um, a mod that I've got called Big Props that has a chance to spawn giant versions of certain props. Giant pots is one of them. We finally got some giant pots, and we have golden bombs, so we have enough to crack them open, which is going to be really nice for us. Um, so let's first of all go into our secret room and see what we can get out of this. Eternal D6 is pretty damn good. Um, we'll definitely take that. And then... We got two of them as well. That's awesome. And then we spawn an item here. Um, familiar... Yeah, we'll, we'll take Bag of Trash. It's going to set us for the entire game, this. We're going to get so much stuff. Tiny Turn we got out of that. I'll take that too. As much as it isn't a fantastic item, it's a decent one. Another Luck Penny. Wow Factor is something I will reroll. We got Fortune Cookie that time. And okay, we got two good rerolls in there. So we can get enough charges to reroll the both of them. But decent start with the, the really, really cool room there. Really, really cool room. We're only going to get one reroll out of these, which is a little sad, but should be enough. Oh my god. But yeah, then the other idea, which is, like I said, kind of become a little bit more of a reality recently, is um, a Diablo style. Um, okay, we got 3D glasses. That's decent. And God's Flesh, which we'll just take. The 3D glasses actually look really good on our character. Oh my god. We should check our shop too here. Try and buy some HP. Um, we can't, but we can at least buy a sack, which gives us another golden penny. Eight inch nails. Okay, this is a very, very good start. Um, yeah, like a Diablo style roguelike where you're like, you, you got a little bit of meta progression, but you can like go through and find like uh, items like the drop in Diablo and you got like randomized bosses and randomized enemies and all this sort of stuff. Kind of like an Isaac style with Diablo skills and Diablo loot. I'd love that. I love Diablo. It's one of my favorite games, and it'd be so cool to see it as a roguelike. There is a game that is a little similar called Soulstone Survivor, but that's less... That, that is a roguelike, but it's kind of like a... Um, I'm going to wait till the next floor to pop this so that I can get a charge for a, um, a re-roll in case I need it. Um, but it's not really... It, it's one of those ones like 20 minutes till dawn where it just auto it kind of like your auto shoot and stuff like that Which I like but I'm not as big of a fan of like the fun, but it's not really what I was looking for. Okay, don't pick up these yet Cracker Jacks is decent. We also get ooh, okay, that's decent Stitches 
Hmm. That's a tricky one. Both of these are really good. Um, Stitches versus Eternal D6 is, is tricky. I'll definitely go and grab Stitches to get into our cash room here. This is a slight pain to hit. I really like getting eight engine nails here because the knockback is uh, interesting, but the, the real, obviously, crux of it is the damage up is so good. Right, let's quickly go back in here. We also... I, our trinket has changed. This keeps happening. I get a modded trinket and pick it up and it just changes into something else. I'm not sure what that's about. If anyone can let me know what the hell's going on with that, I'd be very grateful because I have literally no idea what's happening with that. Damn it, no soul hearts. Okay, good. Right, I think I, I think I should reroll stitches. It's good, but uh, the ability to reroll is so much better. Even if it can delete the item sometimes. Quake hurts. Be a little bit better if we were getting less uh, active items, but hey her. But yeah, like um, I just I'd love I love the idea of like that Diablo esque combat and Diablo esque um, like looting and and skills and stuff, but in a rogue like setting. I just I'd love that. That'd be so much fun. Scratch card gives us spawn three random hearts. Could be good. Got a burn heart out of it at least. And oh, sun card is tickety boo. Very very good. We should take these pills really. Tears up is fantastic. Good stuff, good stuff. I'm really bad at finding secret rooms in these big rooms. But I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the slightly lazier way of doing this and just do it here. I can also save a bomb. A lot of pills. Um, we don't know what e Oh, we do. Oh, 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 my lord. My good Jesus. That is insane. <laughs> I was like, we don't know any of these, do we? Turns out, don't need to be in here again. Your boy, your boy right here is an absolutely ginormous goober. Dude, I would like a passive item, please. Passive item, please. Make sure we have a Singularity Charge for our uh, Devil Deal here. Hello. Thank you. Give us that honey effect. I like the honey coins. They're pretty cool. One more charge we need. There we go. Beautiful. Right. I realise we we do have um, Curse the Blind here, so we're going to be taking two blind items, but I still think it's worth it. I still think Deal the Devil items have the chance to be really good, and if they're active, that's great. And that is deep, that both of those are good. Both of those are good. Okay, one more reroll on that on that stupid thing. So far, so good on this. That that giant pot room, it just settles. It settles for life. So, they're so rare, and they're even rarer when playing Fiend Folio because there's so many more rooms available. Oh my god, it's a passive, which is actually not a bad passive to get. The Onk is, is, is a kind of a way out for us. Um, if we if we die as this dude and all hell breaks loose, we actually get to respawn as a character that's a little more manageable, which is kind of nice. I think second secret room's here. Oh my god. This is this has been a very lucky flaw. That was a very, very lucky flaw. Love it. Down we go. But yeah, um I always think like thinking up of your sort of imaginary ideal game to design is is a lot of fun. It's definitely a lot of fun to do. Um I I, I remember I don't like, remember the specific details of it really anymore. But I remember when I... Oh. All of you are charmed. Oddly enough. Is that like... What the hell did that? Mm -mm. Um, I'll take it. It must be something to do with the, the, the glasses, I guess. A lot of lily pad rooms here. Um, 
I remember the, the first idea I mentioned, the idea of having a sort of zombies-esque game with a bit more to it. I, I proper fleshed that idea out when I first had it. Like, I, I, I can't remember. It was like during college, maybe? It might have been school. It might have been college. I don't remember. Um, but I, I, I do remember, like, proper fleshing the idea out. Me and my friend um, just sat down for an evening and, like, we we did the whole thing and came up with all these little story elements and different ways the hub area would work and a few different maps. I remember one of the maps that I really enjoyed the idea of was like this big sort of supermarket, kind of like a, a like a kind of zombie land tribute sort of thing. Um, and I had like a bunch of different areas in it and stuff like that. It was it was a lot of fun to to like kind of theory craft those ideas up. And it is all in theory. It's all like stuff that you do ideally if you could. Um, but I, it's not something I'd ever sort of sit down and do myself, I'll be honest. I'd, I, lo I would like to, but, <sighs> get, like, I did computer science with games development at university, and while it would be fun to make my own game, I'm at the point in my life now where I realise that I'm not the, uh, this, this sounds like I'm a lazy dude, but I'm not the, I'll do it sort of guy, I'm the, I'll, I'll contribute ideas and, like, test it and, like, help people figure out how to do it. But I'm not... Ooh, Fire Mind is pretty fun here. I'm, I'm really not the sort of person to, to go out and do it myself. Which, yes, yeah, that makes me sound like a lazy dude. And also, it's it's kind of difficult because generally developers don't really like ideas, guys. Because they come with these impossible ideas. And they come saying, oh, we can do this, this, and this. And it'll do this, this, and this. And they don't actually understand the implications of what they're saying. The implications of the difficulty. Um, yeah, yeah. Of, of what they're actually suggesting, so it can be a little bit of a tricky position, and and the thing is though, it's only sort of in theory, I'm, it's not one that I really take, I, I kind of take it in the modding sense, I don't do a lot of modding myself, but I give a lot of suggestions to modders and do a lot of testing for modders, um, when will I learn? When will I learn to not go into the item room? You guys are probably fucking seething with rage right now, I apologise, pretty funny though, um, Maybe I'm just doing it on purpose to comment farm to make sure you guys comment telling me how much of a dumbass I am. No, I'm not, but I am a dumbass. It's funny. People don't realise that. <laughs> like, that's like a genuine strategy on YouTube that a lot of people don't realise. Like, some some YouTubers, I, I tend to not do this on purpose. Um, but um, I have done it a few times, like, accidentally, and it has worked. Where um, people will, like, misspell a title or, like, make a really, really egregious misplay, and uh, like, very early on in the game, on purpose, so people will comment on the video telling them how they're wrong, or telling them that their title has a mistake in it, specifically to boost engagements. It's a, it's like a, kind of a YouTube secret that a lot of people don't realise they're falling for. Which is, it's like, it's not a bad thing, because it's like, the, it doesn't, oh, another tears up. It doesn't hurt the viewer at all. We're at our max. Yeah, it's, like, it's, it's not like a super bad thing. So yeah, it doesn't hurt the viewer at all. Um, it just helps the content. It's just kind of a way of... I won't say forcing engagement, but, but sort of... Getting some extra engagement. Also, having this dude is going to help. Although... Uh, maybe not, actually. Because he doesn't fire the way I thought he would. we got cool shades again. I'm just going to re-roll that. Oh, Stranger Tractor. Hell yeah. Why not? I'm going to take this dude. He's more fun. Found Soul's interesting, but this guy seems more fun. But yeah, Stranger Tractor seems like it's going to be really wacky here. I like it. I've taken Fire Mind, which a bunch of people don't take. I've taken Stranger Tractor, which a bunch of people don't take. Now I just need, like, Tiny Planet and Isaac's Heart. And then, like, the whole set's complete. We still have some of these Squiddy Boys with us. We are doing a lot of damage, by the way. We are in a good position. Yeah, it's it's it. It's kind of annoying. That that is one thing that like, I'm not I'm not someone that plays YouTube. I have I have a few friends and a few people I know that try to play YouTube. They like play the game to make sure they're maximizing their views and engagements and everything like that. Um, but a lot of those people, it's because it's their job and like it's the way that you make money. But it is kind of sad, like how much you have to game YouTube to do well. Like, you really do have to like. 
play YouTube's game and try and appease the algorithm. Oh, hello. Yeah, you do have to play YouTube and kind of appease the algorithm. Um, even if I get tears down here, I don't really care. I should pin some needles. Um, another active item. Ooh, another active item. Who could have saw that coming? I do think it's an absolute scam that, um, that the singularity can give you an active item while you already have one. I realize that you could get a better one, but so much, so much of the time you just don't. And it just feels like an absolute scam. You spend all that time getting all that, all those resources to use your active and it's just like, lol, useless. Most of the time you don't have a reroll, so it's just like, get wrecked. Yeah, it's just, it is just sad that you have to like really game YouTube to do well now. Like, it's, it, that's kind of the thing. I, I've had a, quite a lot of people tell me um, that, oh, you, your channel could be doing so much better if you did this, this, and this. And I'm like, I know, but I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> like, of course I want a bigger channel. Every, every YouTuber is going to want their channel to grow. But I I don't want to have to play YouTube's game to get to make that happen. It just feels like a... I don't know. Ooh, double bad trip there is uh, pretty rough. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. That is an item I might consider keeping because it's really broken. It's just infinite items for us. Also, that one gives a key for some reason. Like, literally, you press it and it gives you coins. It's just a time-wasting item that's, that's like infinite resources. I don't know why it's giving us other things sometimes instead of coins. Maybe it got changed. Did it get changed? It pays out with coins. No, it didn't. Maybe I have an item that can replace coins sometimes. But yeah, we can just kind of sit here and farm. Pretty good. The faster we click, the more coins we get. Go! Basically, they made this item to, like, bore viewers. <laughs> so, like, what item can we introduce to make it really boring for, pe to, for people to use and people to watch them use it? Ah, here we go. God damn it, it was paying out so fast to start with, and now it's paying out really slowly. Come on now. Can we do it in this room? Maybe pop this for some reason. See if it helps. Chainy boy. Like, I don't want to stick with this because it is boring. But also, it is infinite items. If you have the patience, it's infinite items. I'd like to get at least one more. But it seems like it's paying out real slowly right now, so I'm just going to leave it. <laughs> we got two items out of it. I'm happy enough. Bream catcher in all that bad. Oh, I accidentally walked off of the lily pad. Now I'm stuck here until they reform. Right, beautiful. Oh, hello, you. This this guy's a tough boss, so I'm glad that we can pretty much insta kill him. Still got hit by him, though. Devil deal. That's a pretty good one. Revenge. Um. Do I really want to play you? Damn it, I'm trying to suck it over, and then it's like... Hope his hairball isn't super good. Tears down. Oh no. Well, here's our tears up to get that back. I'm gonna black rune that. A damage and range. Okay, that worked out decently. <laughs> this is a good run. <clears throat> But yeah, there's been a lot going around YouTube recently as well about it being a bit of a toxic platform. I don't know how many of you have been watching. Uh, I don't really watch him anymore. I used to watch Rexepticeye a ton before he got, like, really big on YouTube. Um, but, uh, 
and also when I was a kid, so it was a lot more enjoyable because he does more child-friendly content, so it's understandable. Uh, plus 10 bombs is a reroll. Telekinesis is pretty good, but I'm still going to reroll it. Um, but yeah, he recently did a video that got on trending that I saw that he was talking about um, like YouTube being a bit racist and a bit um, a bit sexist and not really giving certain bigger, giving bigger, more popular YouTubers opportunities that smaller YouTubers aren't getting um, and giving them passes that, yeah, it, it's, it, it wasn't, it wasn't all that great. Um, oh, that's not leaving a funny creep tier thing, but it, like it said it would be. Um, oh, I think it's when it hits things that it does that. Okay. Let me check that. Yeah, it does. Okay. Um... Yeah, and so it was kind of kind of messed up thing to, to hear about. That, that's one thing that I, I still have... This is the most tears up you've ever seen. Um, so one thing that I, I find a little strange with um, with YouTube, or YouTubers more so, and it's, not, it's definitely not a complaint. They have, like, every right to do whatever the hell they want. But what is it about... I did it again. Oh, my God, it's so automatic to just walk into the item room. Well, especially, like, one thing that people don't understand, I'm just sorry to break my tangent here, but one thing that people don't understand, I get comments quite a lot which are like, Oh my god, Turtmon, I can't believe you did this. Oh, I cringed so hard, I literally died when you did this. People don't understand how easy it is to miss things that are insanely obvious or make really egregious misplays when you're commentating. When you're in the flow of a conversation, and especially when it's a game that I have more hours in than I should, um, it's, it, it becomes, playing it, like, once I get to a point where, especially on a powerful run, where it becomes kind of automatic, um, and so I'm no longer thinking about what I'm doing in the game, I'm more thinking about what I'm saying, because I feel like the more entertaining part of the video is, um, damn, so why didn't that give us any tears up? Um, because that's the more entertaining part of the video, and yeah, I see a lot of comments of people being like, oh my god, I literally died when he did this, even though, like, what they mean is... I, I did it and they went, did like a tiny little bit of air out of their nose and that was it. Um, but they actually died. I find that really, that was just something on the internet I found really funny. The earth reactions people have or like the, the earth reactions that people type. Anyways, um, that's one of the reasons that happens. Understand that please. I don't really care when people make those comments. Any comment is a co is a good comment as long as it isn't outright being horrible to pe me or other people. Like I really don't care. Um, but, uh, yeah, what, what was I saying? Um, oh, yeah, how, like, some of these big YouTubers, like Jacob Scar, like PewDiePie, things like that, how, like, they get these really massive followings, and so they just stop making content. Like, I kind of get that they can. They've made their money. They don't have to anymore. But it, it, it seems really weird. Like, they, they keep the channel going. They keep posting videos. But instead of, like, just continuing creating the content that made their channel popular in the first place... They start doing, like, TikTok react videos and stuff like that. And it's just, like, especially once you have, like, a massive following to the point where the income is so inconsequential to you anymore that it doesn't really matter, it seems like it would just make sense to continue making the content that that you enjoyed making in the first place, as people enjoyed. Obviously, tastes change. They might not enjoy it anymore. Um, it, it might be that the reason they don't make it... Oh, that was rough. That was rough. I lost so much there. Um, the reason might, that they stopped making that content might be that they stopped enjoying making it. It's not as enjoyable of a process as it used to be. But at the same time, it's 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 also like, well, I'm not going to continue watching your channel anymore because you've completely changed the reason that I subbed you in the first place. That's kind of what happened with Jacksepticeye. Like, as I said, I did kind of grow up and his, and his content is, I wouldn't say it's childish, but it's child-friendly and it, it wasn't... It, it, I was watching it when I was, like, early days of college, so when I was, like, 16. So I kind of grew past it. Um, ooh, I cannot see what's going on in this room at all. Uh, so I kind of grew past it a little bit. Um, but also, yeah, he just, like, he went from, like, making videos on, like, cool indie games that seemed interesting and, like, stuff like that to just doing, like, only, like, the, the, the popular on YouTube games and then to the point where he just didn't play games at all and just, like, reacted to stuff. And by then, I was just kind of like, eh. What's the point? Okay, nice. I don't know what item it'll spawn in here, by the way. Key bum. Honestly, not too bad, to be honest. Key, key bum can actually give us more rewards, considering we don't need the keys. As long as we give him the keys 
to the kingdom and let him let him do what he wants. I think he's going to be fairly useful. Like this. You, you take that. I think it's, it's not only like three keys for a payout of this dude, isn't it? Holy. I will open this. I, it was very worthwhile. Excuse me. I tried to open up the secret room then. It just didn't... Didn't want to play a game. Okay, you take the key. I'm going to try for a secret room item. Didn't work out. That's fine. The lovers. Oh, Lord. There's a lot going on in here. The strange attractor is making things rather bizarre, I'll be honest. It's confusing a lot. We've got the red hourglass. Red hourglass is kind of decent. Can be a little annoying on big boss fights, though. Hey, you. Fire mine plus the honey plus all of this. I've got this blue spider thing now. Don't know what any of these do right now. There's spikes in the corner of this room. Good to know. Well, dimensional baby's pretty good for us here. Right. Where did the blue spider item go? Ah, I'm holding a bomb. Excuse me. There was a, a little blue, spi blue spider trinket in here. It seems to be completely absent now. Oh, I smelted it. How? What? At what point did I smelt that? <laughs> this has confused me greatly. Does, does anyone? Did anyone catch? I don't have um. I don't have marbles, so I have absolutely zero idea how I managed to smelt that. I don't know what it did either. If anyone could ch tell me what it did too, that'd also be nice. I do not remember. Well, I said I do not remember. I didn't even get a chance to see. Um. We'll play you. It's giving me one of these little blue scuzzy boys. Fiend Folia. We lost one of them. Oh, we got Flyboy back. Damn. Remove Flyboy. <laughs> I have that, that command stacked up from last run. Whoa! Hello. Um. What? Oh, God. Oh, no. I consumed something called Contraband. I am unaware of what I have done here. I've activated the uh, the mushroom effect. Okay, I'm gonna have to go. This is getting this is getting real confusing. Oh god, I'm sorry, people. How long do we have this for? Oh fuck me! How am I meant to play this game like this? What have I done? What the hell was in that contraband? What on earth did I take? That's good. Lead pencil's great. Oh my goodness. It seems to be getting weaker, so I think we've got a few stacks of this effect. I don't know how many stacks though. Have that key bum. Oh no, I ended up picking up both of those backs. And Batwing? When did I say I wanted Batwing? Red hourglass, thank you. Okay, it's it's weaker, but it's still not manageable. Hello, mum fight. Lead pencil's gonna be so good for us here, especially with high fire rate. This is uh this is something. Is it over yet? 
Are we back to normality? Oh. I think we're one room off back to normal. I think we are a single room off being back to normal. Oh, hello. Who are you? What the fuck? What the hell was that? Oh, shit. Okay, I think I get what was going on there. That guy was like a shady looking dude. Was I meant to give him the contraband rather than consuming it like I just did? I would guess yes. I would guess the answer to that is yes. I don't know for sure, but if I was to make an assumption, it would be that the new NPC that I've never seen before, the new uh, beggar, sorry, that I've never seen before, probably wants the new item that I got from a beggar that I've never seen before. I would guess that to be right. Hey, you finally gave me a chest. It was a chest full of bombs, but let's call it a win anyways, shall we? This run's a lot of fun, by the way. This run is a lot of fun. This is why you gotta take stuff like, um, Stranger Tractor. Get some of these wacky runs that are just fun. I, th I genuinely think Stranger Tractor is a decent item. I wouldn't say for every run, but I'd say, like, after it got changed for Repentance, a solid, like, 50% of the time I see it, I pick it up. Now, I am as I am someone that really likes, like, zany and weird runs, so that it makes more sense that I'd take it. But I think for anyone, I, I think it's an item that people... People think it's still like it was in, 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 like, Rebirth and Afterbirth Plus and stuff. It's not. They changed it so that it only starts attracting enemies once the tier gets a decent distance away from your player, which makes it significantly better. I wouldn't say it makes it flawless now. Like, it still can hurt you. But it makes it significantly better. Hello, you. What the hell are you? I fought, I fought you before, I think, but I don't remember you. I love enemies that just sit in the middle of the screen and just absolutely eat shit. <laughs> Angel deal with the double proc. Nice. We got Rosary, which I don't think does anything for us with our current tiers. I'm going to reroll both. And we got Monsterance and Sensor. Both items I very much like. Both giving us these little auras around us. Sensor should be pretty damn good. Honestly, I really like these like 3D glasses items that are like making these duplicate enemies and stuff. Pretty interesting. Like splits the enemy into two, one blue, one red, and they're like on our team. Pretty cool. Doesn't do it super often, but it's just doing it like once or twice a room. In some in some cases. Still don't really know what those things in the middle actually do. I think they buff the enemy, but I'm really not sure. <gasps> Soul Heart. I don't know where you came from, but I got hit in that room, so thanks. Right. Mum's Heart here. Another great boss for us here. Lots of explosions hitting you, lots of fire dealing damage. And you're dead. Although Sensor might get us hit right here. I'd like to say it weren't, but it could have done. I'm gonna do Hush, why not? I think Hush is like a reasonably easy fight as Andromeda because it says the boss stays fairly central. Yeah, Tears Ups aren't doing nothing for us right now. Oh, bugger. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't have done this. Taking damage will spawn a Mama Mega Explosion for the current room. Works only once per floor. That's kind of interesting. The Demon Core. Okay, this was a mistake. I kind of forgot how I wouldn't be getting any items. Bugger. Yeah, I kind of forgot how I wouldn't be gaining any items from doing this. This guy's looking pretty swag. There's that Mama Mega explosion. Didn't do much for us, but we'll take it. Why is the demon core like an ashtray with a cigarette in it by the looks of it? <laughs> is that what it's meant to be? That's what it looks like. Isn't the demon core like one of the world's deadliest nukes or something?
It's probably gonna be a, a slightly lengthy process. I, I, I definitely made a mistake coming to this fight. There's absolutely no reason for me to have come here. It's just gonna be a lengthy process for little to no reason. I could plant some bombs around, I guess, but honestly, keeping them in place is gonna be tough. Yeah, pretty tough. Are you gonna do anything, sir? There you go. Okay, now he's actually sat directly on top of the shots. Lead pencil's kind of screwing up my bombing here. We're about halfway dead already, though. Which is good. I'm glad I put away the red hourglass, otherwise I'd definitely be getting teleported out of here a bunch of times. It's kind of one of the big reasons I brought in Demon Core, I'll be honest. That would have been painful. Sensors causing issues. We're slowing the tiers down to, like, really slow levels to the point where it's kind of hard to... Well, I've got to be honest. Every time I place a bomb, I blow up, but the bomb doesn't. Like, not every time, but a lot of times. And I'm really confused as to what that is. It seems like the moment I place a bomb down, Firemind triggers on me. Is it just because I'm getting close to the boss and Firemind is triggering that often? I think it is. It must be. Okay, this didn't take anywhere near as long as I thought it would, which is nice. We gulped again. What have we got that's making us gulp on hit? We definitely don't have marbles. Oh, maybe this character just has that infect effect inherently. I do some somewhat remember that. That's kind of nice. We lost a lot of health here. But we got him. I'm not even going to go back and get Red Hourglass. I don't care, but I will. We'll get that soul heart. In fact, I'm, I'm here now. Why not? Right. Let's go. Get this banging music going again. These little cyber fellas? What the hell are they? Don't really need to worry about spawning items anymore. That's... That's basically past us now. We're past the point of getting items for doing things. Ow. God damn it, fire mind stuff. At least if we do die, we come back as Blue Baby, which should give us a better chance anyways. I don't know how this run will end up working out as a non-portal using boy. Tia just instantly deletes this guy. Like, instantly deletes into this guy, should I say. And it creates a massive pool of honey, which is pretty useful. This trinket. No! It smelted! Fuck! It's fucking trinket. Had him nearly dead. Got hit once and it's like, lol, start again. But for fuck's sake, why? Strange Attractor's doing some odd things here. Hey, we got him that time. Bad. Bad red hourglass. We've only got two items here as well, which is a little sad. Get off that key, it's mine. Um, unused causes all enemies to defecate violently, pushing them around for you and spawning friendly dips. That sounds kind of fun. I feel stumpy. Explosivo is pretty good too. Violently poop. The 
fact that they didn't leave any poop on the floor saddens me. Wasn't that violent if there's no poop on the floor. Well, that's pretty good. <laughs> I just spawned a bunch of holy dips. Gives us insane stats. Dude. Why? As long as at least one of these dips can stay around. Also, if one of them was on a side, then what the hell? Gives us Hermie and everything this does. Perfect. It makes all the dips shit as well. Oh my god. Dips shit. Wait, am I losing? I'm losing fire rate by stepping into the aura of these dudes somehow. That makes zero sense. Is it because I took too many tears up pills? It's glitching out. Also, this means like half chance to get hit as well because it gives you mask into me effect. pretty beautiful this went well anyways i hope you guys enjoyed that one what a good run and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one